is the complete remote guide for the all new Luvalite One Touch motor range. This guide is compatible with your roller blind, double bracket, vision blind, roma shade and even perfect fit and it will show you all the tips and tricks for your motorised blind including pairing, setting limits and operating your favourite positions. Now let's move on to our brand new range of remotes. So here's our single channel remote, our 6 channel remote and our 16 channel remote which comes in white, black and grey. On all of the remotes you get your up, down and stop button on the face along with your channel indicators at the top. The 16 channel remote provide feedback for both your blind and remote charge. On the side of your remote you have your channel buttons and your favourite button. And the back of remotes have our program button and our locking button. We'll be using a combination of these buttons during the setup process. And finally you have your USB-C charging port on the bottom of the remote. Now we'll get on to setting the blind. First, we're going to start by pairing the remote to your blind. Press and hold the button on the motor head for 2 seconds and the blind will jog. Now using your channel buttons on the side of the remote, select a channel to pair to and press the program button on the back of the remote. The blind will jog twice to indicate the remote is now paired. Now we can check the motor direction. As you can see, I'm pressing up and the blind is going down. To reverse the direction, press and hold the favourite and stop button together for 2 seconds. The blind will jog once, and when I press the up button now, the blind moves upwards. If your limits are already set and you need to change the direction, then you can do so by pressing the program button, the blind will jog, press up, the blind jogs, and then press down, and the blind will jog one final time before reversing the direction. Now your blind runs in the correct direction, we can set our limits. Before limits are set, the blind will run in jog mode, so we'll jog the blind to the position we wish to set at. Once happy, Press and hold the favourite and up button together for 2 seconds. The blind will jog twice and the upper limit is set. Now we'll set our lower limit. Press and hold the down button and the blind will run down continuous. Once at the bottom, press stop and jog the blind into the desired position. Press and hold favourite and down together for 2 seconds and the blind will jog twice, setting your lower limit. The new motor range allows for one favourite position per blind. To set a favourite position, send the blind to the desired position between our upper and lower limits. Press and hold favourite and stop together for 2 seconds. The blind will jog twice and our favourite position is set. So, we'll send the blind back down and to operate your favourite limit, just press the favourite button on the side of the remote and the blind will move to that limit. To delete your favourite position, move the blind to the favourite limit and press and hold favourite and the stop button together for 2 seconds. The blind jogs once and your favourite position has been removed. Now we'll show you how to adjust your upper and lower limits. Starting with the upper limit, press and hold favourite and the up button for 6 seconds. The blind will jog. Now you can jog the blind into the adjusted position. And press and hold favour and up again for 2 seconds. The blind will jog twice and the upper limit has been moved. Now we'll adjust your lower limit and we'll press and hold the favour and down button together for 6 seconds. The blind will jog and you can now adjust the position. Once happy, press and hold favour and down for 2 seconds and the blind will jog twice, indicating the limit has been adjusted. To alternate between jog mode and continuous operation, press program on the back of the remote, press stop, and stop again. The blind will jog once between each press, and the blind will now run in jog mode. To get out of jog mode, repeat the process of pressing program, stop, and stop again. Your new One Touch motor has three different speeds. To increase the speed of the motor, press program, the blind will jog, press stop, the blind will jog, and then press up and the blind will jog. 
Note that if the blind does not jog on the third press, the maximum or minimum speed has been reached. To decrease the speed, press program once again, the blind will jog, press stop and the blind will jog, and press down for one final jog and the speed of the mower has been decreased. If you have more than one blind in a room and wish to operate all blinds at once, use the channel buttons until you get to channel zero. Now press down and all blinds assigned to this remote will run downwards. To do this on the six channel remote, use the channel buttons again until all six channels light up. To reduce the number of channels on the handset, so you don't have 16 blinds assigned to the remote, you can press and hold the stop and plus channel button together for two seconds. The channel indicator will flash and you can now select how many channels you want and press stop to lock the channels. It will now scroll 1 through 10. To unlock the channels again, press and hold stop and the channel plus button for two seconds and then click stop. You'll have access to all 16 again. To do the same on the 6 channel remote, press and hold the favourite and channel plus button for 2 seconds. Select how many you want access to again and press stop. The remote will now run 1 through 3. And you can unlock the channels again by pressing and holding the favourite and channel plus button for 2 seconds and then press stop again. To remove all limits from the blind and start afresh, press program on the back of the remote, the blind will jog, press stop, the blind will jog, and press program again, and the blind will jog once more to indicate all limits have been removed. To remove all controllers via the remote, press program, the blind will jog, press program, and the blind will jog again, and down. And as you can see, the blind is unresponsive on this remote. To unpair your remote from the blind, press and hold the motor head for two seconds and the blind will jog. Press program and the blind will jog again, and the remote will unpair from the motor. To turn the motor's soft start stop mode off, press program on the back of the remote, followed by the down button and down again. The blind will jog after each press, and once we run the blind up and down, you can see the speed of the blind remain the same once reaching a limit. To turn the soft start stop mode back on, press program, followed by the up button, and the up button again, and the blind will buffer its speed before landing at each limit position. To turn off your charging light on the motor, press the program button on the back, and then press down and stop. The blind will jog once for each press, and now when we plug our charger into the motor head, the light will flash on the initial insert, but not again after. To turn your charging light back on, we'll repeat the same process of pressing program, down and then stop. The light flashes on the initial insert and then again every 8 seconds. And the light will stay on once fully charged. If you want to conserve energy in the home, you can place your motor into sleep mode. To do this, press and hold the button on the motorhead for 2 seconds. The blind jogs once, and then press and hold the motorhead for 2 seconds again. The blind will jog and flash orange three times to indicate it is in sleep mode. To exit sleep mode, press and hold the button on the motor for five seconds. It will flash orange three times again, the blind will jog and then flash once more. Finally, but most importantly, you've got your function lock. Press and hold the T button on the back of the remote for 12 seconds and the screen will flash four times. This means all setting options are now locked and you cannot accidentally adjust or remove any limits. To access your setting mode once again, press and hold the T button for 12 seconds. These are all the tips and tricks you'll need when setting and operating your motorised blind using the new Luvalite One Touch range. Keep an eye out for future videos where we'll show you how to integrate your motorised blinds into your smart home, set schedules and even use voice control. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more.